This project uh, we're doing today is relatively inexpensive. It's only going to cost you a few dollars worth of uh, materials, and if you have to buy a few of these items, they're not all that expensive. What we really have here is a um, this is a acrylic latex sealer, a caulk for that we're going to use to seal up a lot of these holes, particularly around windows. This one's white. You can when you buy it at your home center, it says windows, doors, molding, siding on it, so you know it says and it says exterior, interior on it. You're going to see other ones that talk about painting and so forth out there too, that'll be useful to you for interior sealing, so you can paint over them. But on the exterior, you really don't want to think about it. Do I want white around my white trim? Do I want clear around my brickwork? What am I really looking for? The other items we got here, and I'll touch show you, is this is the caulking gun itself. You can see mine's fairly well used, and it's basically a plunger that you set your caulking gun in, caulk your tube of caulk in here, push this up, and as you squeeze this lever, it forces this plunger in, pushing the caulk out the front. As soon as you hit this little release, it releases the pressure so it's not pouring out on you on the ground. But you do need to be ready with your paper towels because you do get it does get a little bit messy. We got a utility knife here to cut the tip off of this whole thing and open it up. And probably one of the neater things I'd like to show you here are actually these. I love these items here. Because you buy a big tube of caulking like this for maybe two, three dollars, and you use a little bit of it, and you got half a tube left over. Do you waste it, throw it out? No, they have these things called a caulk keeper. Let me show you how these work. This is an older tube I have of some caulking. And you can see there where the tip was cut off and so forth. And this basically has a little plunger down the center. It goes right into there and seals that up. So I can use this caulking for years, literally, and I have done that. Now the other thing it does is, so I popped, I had popped the uh, thing into my gun. Where do I put that little cap while I'm using it? It has a little clip, it clips onto the back of here so you don't lose it, you're done using it. You pop it back in and you're all set to go. The other items I'll show you here, I've got a utility knife, like I said, for cutting that open. We've got this little rubber uh, tool here with a point on it. This is so, mostly you do um, traditionally caulking by hand, you know, running your finger down there. It does get all over your hand and uh, you know you kind of work to get a nice line. This is a rubber tipped piece here with a nice straight rubber tip that's flexible and you put this into the corner of the window and you run it down and it actually gives you that nice line that you're looking for on the caulking without getting it all over your hands and then you can wipe it up with the paper towels. So let's go take a look around. Um, we're going to take a look around the house here and show you some of those possible air infiltration areas. We'll do a little bit of sealing and then uh, hopefully this gives you the guidance you need to go ahead and do this for yourself. This is one of the easier projects. We're kind of starting out with some easy stuff here and we'll get you know more difficult as we go. All right, now we're here by a door and a window, so we're actually going to point out a couple things here. If you look at this caulking along here where the door interface is, we got a little bit of crackage here where the caulking's breaking down. We'll also look on these other sides, so if you look over here on this window, you can kind of see the same thing here. So we're going to want to run a thin, thin bead of caulking up here around these windows, on the door trim, around the exteriors of the doors and so forth, to really seal this in. Not only is that going to help you keep air infiltration out for your energy, it's going to keep moisture out, it's going to keep your trim and your wood and so forth from rotting. Now what you're looking at here is actually, and I'm kind of leaning over the rail to get this picture, this is the um, intake and output exhaust for the furnace. So the furnace at this home uh, in burning propane brings its air combustion from the outside, burns it and exhausts it back to the outside because it's a lot safer for your home. What I want you to note is if you look around those pipes, there are some pretty significant openings. So we're going to have to get that all filled in, get a ladder up there and kind of cock that around. But that's one of those interesting ones where you have a large opening coming out of a couple of vent pipes that you might not be thinking about that are actually letting a lot of cold air back into the house. Some other areas to look for where you're going to find leaks is we talked about where utilities come in. Now if we take a look at this, this is a propane line coming in. In your home it may be a natural gas line or something else. And you can see here it goes through a big plastic tube. And that tube, you got a couple opportunities. You can see they put some sealant on the inside, some expanding foam, and we'll talk about that. But look around the brickwork. You've got about a quarter of an inch of opening to the exterior of that pipe. So while the interior is sealed up, and could probably use a little more, the exterior actually looks pretty bad. And then if we kind of scan up here on the construction, this is a little bit of a bump out area here. Uh, you can see the builder did kind of a sloppy job of sealing some of those seams up there under this bump out. 
and probably the underside should be painted but that's not necessarily an energy thing where they put some foam into there so those are areas to look for and areas to make sure you seal up and in here we'll be doing some foam insulation may put that in another video since this one we're really focused on caulking but probably we'll caulk around the brick area in this case we're looking at where the air conditioning lines come in and there's actually two units here because this house has a heat pump on its top floor and an air conditioner heat pump up in the attic air conditioner down in the basement you're actually seeing kind of sloppy job by the builders and installers a little bit of concrete thrown around those those would be worth taking a good closer look at about air infiltration and uh, getting inside of those and into the pocket of the house all right we're going to prepare some things here to do a little caulking with so I'm going to take this knife and I'm just going to cut a piece of this tip off, kind of at an angle. I've got to tilt it down angle like this, going back this way, so it's a little easier as we go down that seam to actually get the caulking to go in. And then in this case, let's see if we hit this, yep, can release that, to we'll take the pressure off, we've got the caulkings ready to come out, we don't have to do anything to open that up. So let's head out on over to that door and window and do this. All right, so what we're gonna do here is we're gonna take our tube of caulking, we're all ready to go and squeeze it. And we're just gonna place it up against here and we're gonna drive a little bead of caulking all the way down that joint. All the way down to the bottom there. I'm gonna hit that to release the pressure off of there. And I can either do this with my finger or I've got my little tool here. Let's see how this guy works out. Take him down there all nicely. He pushes that all back in there nicely. Got a little excess on it, which will wipe onto that paper towel. So it's pretty straightforward. You're gonna go all around the doors, you know, all the way up and down. I'll use my finger a little bit to smooth that out a bit, make it look nice there. And then same thing on the window, absolutely identical. You're gonna go in here, get that caulking going down that edge up and over and down, get a bead of it in there. And then if you don't have the little spreader tool, just stick your finger in there. It does a really nice job of smoothing that out almost perfectly. And we got a nice sealed edge around that part of the window. And I'd go around and do them all and all the way around the windows, make everything look nice and even. Keep it weather tight and keep that air from coming in. 